All right, this is uh, kind of vacant. It's still considered a blind play. I had to revert to a manual save. Um, where's Galaxy Map? Because I broke the game. Yeah. I mean, it freaking sucks. So, we're going back to EOS. I want to finish, you know, a better beginning. Without breaking it. So, you'll see when I tried. I'll let you know. Um, basically, uh, spoilers. I get there, Drax is under attack. Pythia system. Still hoping we can turn Eos around. Well, I figured I'll just run over all the other people. That didn't work so well, so I parked the truck in a very strange place. Jumped out. Didn't understand my control since I've been haven't played the game in a few days. And killed everything and Drax was frozen still so maybe I can do better this time I don't know I doubt it geez seems you look at the game wrong I'm gonna skip no I'll, I'll keep it you look at the game wrong and it freezes up but And I don't know what this is. It says, Task Naming the Dead. I have no clue what that's all about. And that's as far as a non-blind play as I've gotten. So... <sighs> Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Okay, so I figured this out. Um, I was trying over here is the remnant thing. No, it's over right there. It actually didn't show up on the map last time. I can't get into it. I was playing a little bit on my own. And yeah, my experiment there did not work. So basically I'm going to go here. Uh, oop. Wait. What just happened? Cat ahead. They appear to be fighting oh, a crack. Uh, that's Is new. That Drac? Alright. Uh, now, he is down there. Cat drop ships. So, Kura. Asari commandos. I hear a lot of things. You hear or you watch low budget action bits? Low budget action. Either way, huntresses uh, hunt. They sabotage. Mm. They do assassinations. All officially sanctioned. And that was all fine with That you. didn't work. Oh, yeah. crap. Hunt down anti Citadel fanatics or let crisis response mop up the blood later. That's not a choice. Shit. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh. Grenade that doesn't work well. Alright. God. I need... It's been a while. Oh, you're moving now. Okay, I don't think I broke this one. There's a hell of a lot more cat before. I must have run over a shit ton of them. Time you joined the party. Okay, yeah, I didn't get that. So, you can't shortcut this mission, apparently. Ooh, I kind of like the salt, salt gun. 
don't fight. That's it, kid. Keep it up. Good boy. Problems. Color me impressed. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Alright. Mm. <sighs> that fight was fun. Or annoying. You're telling me. You could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. So the clouds parted, and these cat look pretty keeled over. Maybe us humans can pull our weight after all. Well, you can, clearly. But there's a lot to do before I'd be that smug about it. You know what? I'm gonna ignore my gut and join up. This fight was good, and we can do it again. And before you go saying you don't need a Krogan, no. believe me. Okay, you do. what I don't need. That's what I said. <laughs> no, you didn't, you dick. What I don't need is this music so fucking loud. Maybe. Oh, oh, fuck. That works. You have to two, two different buttons to fucking save the thing. All right. Um, where's that ammo crate? This looks different. What the hell did I just do? Radiation, radiation. All right. Oh, right there. something new this is where we'll build our new outpost a real beginning prepping deployment order you must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve the nexus doesn't get a say resources are at a crisis point protocol states this judgment call falls to the pathfinder with current supplies you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. Huh. <laughs> really? Alright. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call. But research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. <laughs> okay, so... Cora is military. Liam is... science. Which doesn't make much sense since he used to be a cop. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Where's option C? Right there. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Eh, fuck it. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Hmm, got a trophy foothold. Why don't I not feel good about that? Yeah, whatever. Deal with it later. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. 
Grandiose is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. Eh, I'll be generous. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You find her. What are you playing at? Seems like being my friend is suddenly valuable. Fair assumption. Oh, oh, that... The yeah, reality right half fine. You brought us time, but one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point from the vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed. But after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware. That's all. Wow. I gotta turn super sampling back on. And she called Ryder Pathfinder instead of Ryder. So apparently he did something. Uh, oh, I, I do like this. You're Watch just as manipulative. Everyone. But not you, right? You're genuine. I know what I came here to be. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Three hundred... ten percent. We're still wearing helmets. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Oh. All right. Um. What the hell are we doing way up here? Motherfucker. Um. Where's my car? Yeah, hell, I'm done. Okay, uh, it's been a few days. Um, yeah, car's down there. I say we go say hello to our new neighbors. Wait, where's my team? Where the hell did they go? Oh well. Ooh, this might hurt. Or not. What gun do I got? Still that thing. Okay. Uh. Hey, car. Uh. Where's everybody? Door. I like doors. Oh, there's people. Yale, huh? I'm sorry it came to this, Pathfinder. Came to what? Pathfinder. 
Who are you? Why are you so depressed? Hmm. No relevant. What are you guys looking at? Okay. Well, this is a boring building. Um. Seriously, where the... I hear banging. There's my car. And there's some people standing around there. You okay? Everyone thinks that at first. The doctors have a name for it by now. He just needs time. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not stealing this. Okay. What's this? Congrats. Hey, Connor. Heard about the new position. Uh, what's his face? Just gained one hell of a businesswoman. They'll luckily, they're lucky to have you. If we ever find ourselves on the Nexus at the same time, I'm buying you a drink to celebrate. Vetra and Ryder. I know you're going to get noisy and re nosy and read this. Hi. Okay. I wasn't getting nosy. Are you Connor? What the hell are you doing? I have a big question mark. And a big exclamation point. I really should know what these are. And a question mark and an exclamation point. I really hope all those scientists will be safe out here. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. I keep wondering what our scientists will cook up for eels. What the hell? Pathfinder. Yeah. Am I late for the party? Henderson at the shuttle landing pad told me. He heard it from the pilot. Izzy, you've got to stop listening to every rumor that comes in. Okay, but when your shuttle gets eaten by space whales, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> okay. Uh, ter ooh, terminals. No messages. Formal request for target what's-his-face number 28. Making the request again, Bradley. I know it's not your fault. I know she's supposed to be the second wave. But I want a trail so that when all this calms down in a few years, we can get proper we can get proper outraged about how long it took to reunite families. Especially ones hurt doing the site one slash two mess. Or one half mess. You know, broken promise is a thing, right? Requesting the deployment of Sat Dude Exospe Study Specialist. Reason. She's an asset that will help viability. She's also my daughter. Nepotism. Um. Oh, you two decided to catch up. Okay. Hey, right, I got some junk to sell. Um, I can do sell all salvage. Total gain, 3,390. Uh, um, I'll confirm. Yes. So I get all that stuff out of my... Uh, really? I got all this stuff in my inventory? I don't need that. M8 Avenger. What am I using? Chargers 160. Okay. Whatever. 
What do you got? Pathfinder Helmet 2. Plus 3 damage resistance. Pathfinder hard suits are heavily modified from the initiative suit baseline. Oop. Well, it has a down arrow there. Plus three cryo ammo. Backup. Outside of the nomad. That's not bad. Huh. Carniflex 2. Uncommon pistol. Yeah, I'm kinda... What's this? <coughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have a lot to edit out. Um, where's my ob objectives? Andromeda viability lead to perks that directly empower your efforts because as Pathfinder you choose what is important to life in Helios. Speak to Director Addison and her assistant about AVP and decide what experts will shape and strengthen your initiative. Alright, so I gotta go to the Nexus and I got to at Nexus Pathfinder HQ. So I gotta go to the Nexus for two things. I want to find out what that question mark is. Hmm. Do I need ammo? Apparently. Hello, Pathfinder. Hey, supply officer. Can't talk to you. Hey, Red. Sure. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, Research and Development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. <laughs> Is this a sure Door? thing, Mitney, or just pie in the sky? I have no interest in wasting your time. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. Okay. Uh. Wait, map. Who are you? Uh, you know, gonna. Eh. A memory trigger. And then somebody standing there. This is uh, doesn't say, doesn't say. Hmm. Bitch, piss, and moan when somebody rejoices. SR heavy spare clip from sniper rifle. Yeah. yeah. Doc says it's just post stasis anxiety. It's just what oh. you need after a long day. No kidding. If I study one more specimen today, I'll fall asleep on it. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't have spikes. Out of here. And over here. Ooh, what's that? Memory trigger. Over there. August Bradley. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder. Good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Hmm. Yeah. Let's not drive people too hard. Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. 
follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like site one and two. I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. <laughs> Do I really want to be that much of a dick? Nah. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. Keep is generous. We have to start. Real building, not just survival. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Okay. Is it in my inventory? Nexus must be waiting, Pathfinder. Relax. There will be more for you on EOS after you get back. Um... Alright. Any insights about the people running the show from the Nexus? I only work with Addison. She's by the book. And with all the shit that happened, that's to her credit. And the others? I only work with Addison. <laughs> Anything you'd say if you weren't in their direct employ? If I wasn't in their direct employ, I'd give that rat's nest a wide berth. Outposts <laughs> deal with Addison. She deals with the others. And I don't envy her. Well, okay, I kind of like the guy now. What's behind naming the outpost Prodromos? It means Forerunner. Languages bore the shit out of me, but we voted fair. That ownership is key to the initiative. That's how you convince a bunch of civilians to jump galaxies. As long as we meet our obligations to the Nexus, what we build and how we organize, we get to figure it out. Alright, well... He pronounced it, and I was like, hey, that's how you pronounce it. I'll have to remember that, and I already forgot how to pronounce it. Tell me about yourself. August Bradley, retired from the Alliance. I keep the discipline, but not so much the doctrine. I join the initiative because it's a frontier. Not a lot of those left. Not that you can reach on my pension anyway. Any family? A niece on Earth. We didn't talk after my sister passed. It's a shame we drift apart like that. Yes, well, we stay out of people's grief. My yeah. father, your sister. Sounds like we've both lost a lot. We stay out of people's grief, Pathfinder. <laughs> what is that? Stay out of people's grief. You've said it before. Shit, that's right. You didn't have the block leader death talk. The thing is, you and your father, not unique, just recent. Every initiative species, except maybe Asari and Krogan, went into cryo with friends and family and woke up knowing they were all dead. Everything we build begins with that. The unsaid start to the initiative. So yeah, we stay out of people's grief. Wow. I don't think denying it is the best choice. Didn't say deny. I said stay out. We all have to own how we deal with it. What's that old saying? Children with dead parents think everything is possible and nothing is safe? That seems like it fits anyone in the initiative. Or maybe everyone. What can you say about the Padromos block? Padromos, exactly that's bunch, it. As the science types always are. We'll eventually allow the staking of clans for groups with enough startup resources. Not quite gold rush, not quite land grants. Honored to lead them for as long as they need me. Just looking for a status report. Informal, of course. Oh. Not much to report. We're making life up as we go. We'll talk another time. Oh, and Pathfinder, what I said about grief? Every pirate we brought to this cluster woke up with the same reality you did. Maybe think about that when shooting doesn't have to start. Huh? 
Shooting always has to start. It's not like I'm gonna hit anything. Oh, memory trigger. Okay. Sam, another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Manual save. Oh, okay, I guess we gotta go to the Nexus. But I need mean, on the wrong side of the lake, so let's take the long way round. Da -da 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 -da. Judge. Quarantine best practices. Please remember that everything shipped to the landing pad, especially from off world rather than sealed Nexus supplies, must go through quarantine procedures via confined observation, spot testing, bacter bacteriological scans, or radioactive sterilization. We are a new presence on EOS, and everything added to the ecosystem will have an effect down the line. Our job is to make sure it's a beneficial one and strong. That should be and a strong quarantine. Oh no, not the way they worded it. And strong quarantine practices will really help us out. Hanley Abrams. Addendum. If anyone tries to tell me or Hanley that your shipment's a special case and you don't need to bother, you'll be running quarantine twice. <laughs> That's from Bradley. Radiation alerts for shuttle pilots. That vault doohickey might be clearing the atmosphere, but we still got pockets of high radiation and bad weather across the continent. Telepresence update. Zones 10 to 12 are still smoking hot, but zone B is showing a drop. Watch your shuttle's radiation shield absorption. They can take up to 190 weird kind of stuff safely. Anything more and you need to head back for a refit. And remember that if you're carrying power cells or, radi or radiological equipment, those can throw your readings off. Make sure you're as safe as you think. Pilot McReady. Just a FYI, everybody. Today's flight schedule. Weather monitoring sweep. Geographical survey flight. Sign up early or you lose your equipment slots. Retrieving Team Cigna. Oh, I gotta find those scientists yet. Plus plant specimens, high alt altitude atmospheric orbs with time slot for uh, yeah. Uh, it doesn't get me any closer to being close to what I'm trying to get close to, does it? Uh, oh, we're missing somebody. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's get up to the Nexus. Let's get this done. So oh, maybe I can do a little free roaming. Ascent is go. Leaving Apple. All clear.
Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. <laughs> Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. <laughs> and I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? This isn't a military vessel, but there need to be rules. Better to ask about protocol. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need <laughs> to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Pretty damn simple. Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. Cora looked like he, she wanted to rip his head off. For one thing, it's getting along. But not humility <laughs> or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Well, feeling a little underappreciated. And lost. Where, where the hell am I? Well, I guess I should follow those people. They seem to know where they're going. A secure outpost. Finally. Predromus better be worth all that time Ryder put into it. If they fail, the Nexus starves. No pressure, right? So everything we do now relies on civilians planting vegetables. Hmm. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, okay. Oh god, so many choices. How did you get into medicine? My mum was a dancer and a maker. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. So, how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident, I knew we'd be friends. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory, things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel, from when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? 
It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. Seemed kind of pointless to me, but, you know. As What's-His-Face said. How do you think the crew is potato. holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Oh, okay. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. <laughs> Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. That doesn't really make much sense because people that are used to providing for others and wanting to be dependent on, what are they going to do in their mean time, me time? Because me time is all about them. Where Vetra according to your psychological analysis, is all about her being needed by others. So, just saying. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Oh, you got a thing for the thing. Thanks for the insight. Okay. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Research center, strike team missions. Now, I, sh I think I should just, boom, continue up here. I'll talk to the rest of the crew later. And in case, yeah, those anybody's... Those vaults, all those secrets. I have to go exploring in one someday? Imagine flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. <laughs> I see nobody. Oh, there you are. Oop. Personal space. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. Hmm. There's right. something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. So, anyways, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by a conversation I myself initiated. This is going to be a real talky game. I'm going to talk to all the everybody. So, action's going to be not front point. This is Mass Effect series is all about that interaction with your uh, the ev all the other characters, and I want to I want more stories about the ship. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh, fine. Fine. 
Don't worry about it. Oh, crap. Now I gotta go talk to Gil. What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. It sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. Yeah. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. <laughs> oh no, I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> no, no, no. Not again. Not for five times in a row. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. He insists on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. He likes to do things his way. Hmm, that doesn't make it the right way. <laughs> what do you think of the rest of the crew? Liam's quite fun. Not many humans have that kind of energy. I probably shouldn't have told him there are secret compartments in the armory, though. He's been looking all day. <laughs> what do you think of the rest of the crew? Dr. Tapero seems nice, if quiet. It must be very different here, compared to the Hyperion. Fewer people in stasis shock. Let's keep it that way. Wow. Okay, the echo is actually from the game. It's not from the way I have things set up. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Given Drax's history with Salarians, it's probably better I just stay out of his way. Too bad. That grunion roast he makes smells delicious. <laughs> okay, let's do stories. Tell I gotta get back else to the Nexus. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um... Oh, <laughs> Added repeats. a few embellishments. For okay. two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. Really? The script doesn't realize that was through. already said? You know where I'll be. Okay, that's... I gotta get to the Nexus. Ugh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ugh. Uh, system map. There. Oh, uh, yeah, better beginning. Kinda wanna finish this up. Give me an option to skip this time, please. Yes, skip. Oop, wrong button. Skip. I can skip the loading screen? That'd be kind of cool. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Why is everything bordered by red? Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley. I know him. 
Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. <laughs> oh, yeah, strawberries. Actually, that sounds really good. I mean, seriously, why... Why is my screen red? How can I see my health? Red. Alright, let's go get talk to Tran. Oh, a bunch of merchants here now. Operations. Here comes the ugly train. A violent illness related to cherry like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 has authorities baffled. Multiple passengers are still in quarantine. This is HNS. Great. It's still red. What the hell? Yeah, there was a there was a lake, a really huge lake. Pathfinder. Hello, Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey Ryder, Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. <laughs> I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. <laughs> Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to give that asshole a chance. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. 
Ah. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have finished. Finally. A better Tiger, beginning. This is Harry back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Med Bay. Will do. All right. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. She had something that could help with her job. Yeah, that would be episode 11. I'm clearing it up for this episode. Thanks, everybody. And have a day.